calling time. I'm taking it to the people. I'm taking it to the street. Gonna tell my story in the cold and in the heat. My name is Linda Goss. People call me Mama Linda. I am from Baltimore, Maryland, and I am an NEA National Heritage Fellow. I was raised on fried apples, pinto beans, fried green tomatoes, grits, and screwed salad. I grew up in a storytelling family. It's in my blood. One of the first stories my grandfather told me was how his grandfather, George McNear, he escaped from slavery. So getting that from my grandfather, that was very powerful to me. That's what has been instilled in me, to be proud of who you are, to be proud of where you come from, and try to encourage others to share their story. There once was a caterpillar who was sad as she could be. She felt that she didn't belong, didn't fit in the community. Later, when I became a storyteller back in the 70s, when I went to the library to find books on storytelling, there was nothing there that spoke to the way I wanted to tell stories, that spoke to the black storyteller. And so I am the author and co-author of seven books, one being Talk That Talk. And Talk That Talk is considered the Bible of black storytelling. And I'm the co-founder of the National Association of Black Storytellers. I feel that I am a gatekeeper of the stories, the stories of my people. And to me, you're here to make that connection between the ancestors, the elders, and the youth. And I think that is really my big goal now, is connecting with the young people of Baltimore. Che Che Kofisa. Storytelling is medicine for the spirit and healing for the soul. And we're talking about what we've been through. So those songs was how we released our pain. When I went to church in my hometown, there on the front row would be these old gray-haired men, and they would just be kind of rocking back and forth, and they would just hum, just moan and groan. And finally they would go, oh, 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 oh. Wait in the water. So that would start a song. And then the whole congregation would start singing that song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait in the water. Wait in the water. Chilling. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Who's at all dressed in black? God's gonna trouble the water. It looks like the children that won't go back. God's gonna trouble the water. God's gonna trouble the water. God's My life has been filled with grandmother figures when those by blood weren't available. Mama Linda's one of them. At all dressed We're bound by a love of culture, a love of storytelling, and a love for each other. The more that I get into it as a scientist, as well as an artist, I truly realize how powerful storytelling is. Through storytelling, there's freedom. When I tell my story, I'm free. When people hear my stories, they're free. When people are empowered to tell their stories, they're free. My art form is important because I believe in spreading the word. I am the bell ringer. The bell ringer calls out. The bell ringer sounds the alarm. The bell ringer sounds out when there's something great happening too. For me, receiving the Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment for the Arts means that I can say to the world, I stand on the shoulders of the ancestors, all those who have gone on before me. And I am truly grateful. Asante sana, asante sana, yebo. Thank you.